all been transformed by this. Every race has a start, and somewhere there's a finish. But not all runners choose the straight and narrow path. Sometimes they change lanes. In the beginning, memories and photos exist from another time, another place, and another person. Prepare yourself, I was a very cute kid. That cute kid with big hair and a bigger smile was Maya Dawkins, with her sister Jada on the left. Fraternal twins, but clearly not the same. The toys that she wanted to play with were boys' toys. She was building things. She wanted to collect rocks. You know, by the time she was in first grade, she wanted boy underwear, boy clothes, short haircut. By the time they reached high school, Jada took a traditional path. Maya blazed a different trail. But for the 16-year-old, there were personal hurdles, like a girlfriend. Who are like, you too young to be in love, but like, I've genuinely never felt like this about anyone before. And as their relationship bloomed, life became complicated. I had something hovering over me that was kind of like a dark cloud. Out of nowhere, there was this kid who was anxious, who was crying, you know, trying really hard to hide it. Just sitting in a chair all day, you're thinking about it, and like everything in your head just starts getting louder and louder, and you just feel like you're going to scream. And I would literally, I wouldn't even ask for like the pass. I'd just get up, go to the bathroom, and just rip all my clothes off and just start itching everywhere. I, that's, that's probably what was the tipping point. It was time to stop running away. The struggle of a boy living in a girl's body was overbearing. And so Maya began the transition to Matt. You have to change everything in your head when somebody's gender changes. You don't realize how powerful it is. The transition started at home. As a licensed therapist, mom had a head start, but acceptance from dad came at a much slower pace. Their dad's Jamaican, so you've got another cultural factor. Nigel was a Marine. You know, on the bell-shaped curve of gender, he's much more alpha, he's extremely male, so he didn't take it as well in the beginning. Jada also needed time, but she's now Matt's anchor. She went through a phase for like a couple months where she called me it. She's just like he, she, whatever you are. As soon as I found out that she at the time came out as gay, I was like, okay, like that's fine. My mom has gay friends, like I have gay friends, like this is really okay. And then the transgender thing happened, I was like, okay, this is really weird. I thought she was going to have the hardest time with it, but she's had the best time with it actually. A lot of people question it, but they, they're not really judgmental. They don't really harass or bully or anything, which is really awesome. But if I hear someone like mess up the pronouns or say like, like Maya by accident, I like get really defensive and I'll be like, no, that's not what you call it. At Thanksgiving, my uncle, who I don't see as much, he kept calling me she by accident. And she like got up, she's just like, hey, if you're gonna call him she, you need to get out of the table. And I was like, all right. And Jada continues to lend a hand, administering weekly testosterone shots. Sometimes she just goes in, she's like, hey, ready? I'm like, no, I didn't even put that. She's a psycho, but if you look at it under the I'm microscope. I'm psycho. I'm doing this for you. I get nervous for five seconds before, and then I'm like, okay. Yeah, I he said, go. Me giving him the shot changes him into a different person. Matt just completed his first season on the boys' varsity team, and he's truly gaining his second wind. You know, when they're young, you want so much to, to fit in and, and be like everyone else and to just do what everyone else does so you don't stand out in any kind of negative way. You don't want anybody to think you're weird or abnormal. I give him so much credit for, for just being so open, and I haven't seen him falter. Matt's not breaking records on the track, but he'll soon be changing them. His new name becomes official over the next few months. Physical changes could come later this year, but the emotional ones will never change. People always ask me, is it like 
different because you have a brother instead of a sister, but it's, it's not really different because it's just a person to me, and I love him either way. I just found myself bursting into tears. I, I really, I grieved the idea that I was going to lose this connection to a little girl that I was in love with. It was very powerful. I really felt like somebody was ripping this baby away from me named Maya. It was more traumatic for me than I expected. man that I am is just like who I was before. So that's really what transgender is, it's just like, you know, becoming the man you want to be. And so every day, Matt Dawkins inches closer to the finish line. My ultimate all-around goal is just to have the pleasure of walking up to someone and then automatically assuming that I'm a guy. I want that so bad.